Hello everyone, I'm Chester44 and welcome to this Let's Play of Shadows of Undrentide. Last episode, we began the whole story we have. We are one of four people who are apprentices to this advent former adventurer Drogon. However, he was attacked by kobolds. One of them stabbed him with a poison dagger, and he's wounded. They also made off with four artifacts kept safe by him, simply because this place is so remote. People known as the Harpers were, well, he was a member of them, a secret organization. We spoke with a member who happened to be here, and learned a bit. Now, it's time to go through the place, and speak with all our companions. Greetings, friend. I hope everything's going well, Liam. I'd hate to think whoever was behind all this was going to get away with it. Alright, let's speak with Xanos. Ah, it seems the dwarf has finally gotten himself into a bind, and now he needs us to come to his rescue. I'm going to head out and look for Master Drogon's stolen artifacts, but he suggested I take someone with me. And you think I should accompany you? You think that I want to retrieve these artifacts for Master Drogon? If you really have a problem with it, I'll check with the others. Xanos would not be so callous as to reject a call for help once given. If you wish my aid, I shall be here to ask. So, have you come to your senses? You need Xanos' skills now, yes? Yes, come with me. Very well, then. I shall accompany you. And we'll rest so he can regain everything. He's only using a dagger at the moment. He is a sorcerer and chaotic neutral. But there is a bonus thing that we can do in this. We can actually view his inventory and transfer things between them. I'm going to take your key. It will be useful. That heavy crossbow would be a better thing for him, I think. And he has a bunch of spirits. Of course he does. Yes, it would be better for him to use that if he's a sorcerer. What do you want? Um, let's stop and talk for a moment, Xanos. You wish to mine my wisdom? The wisdom of Xanos is not something to be taken lightly. So how did you end up coming up coming to Drogon in the first place. Bah! We have been over this story before, you and I. Why would you wish to hear it again? Just humor me. Bah! Very well. I shall tell you once more if you wish. Someday, far in the future, you will look back on the days you have known me and rejoice that you were close to someone who was so destined for greatness. You sure think a lot of yourself, don't you? It is my destiny to achieve greatness. None will deny the will of Xanos. I know you may doubt me. You, Misha, Drog, and Dorna all do not believe that this destiny will be mine. But I will show them. I will work as hard as it takes. Do whatever it may take to achieve this goal. Whatever it takes. Anything. Fear not, little human man, I know my own limits. But I shall not be denied my path to power. If anything in my life has shown this, it is that my will cannot be denied. What has shown this? My life of hardship and regret. The times I have... Bah! Xanos is not weak like the others. Though I may not speak of it, I have my own troubles. These are nothing of your concern. Rest assured that greatness is what I seek. The path of power and the voice within. It is my destiny. And that is all we shall speak of for now. We have more pressing concerns. What do you want? Uh, let's see. Are you going to tell me how you ended up at Drogon's now? Ha! <laughs> ha! I forgot about that. You had asked, hadn't you? I guess I got a little carried away and never got around to telling you. So... Yes, yes, I avoid, I know. Fine, I will tell you now. When I was younger, I did not have the self-control I have now. I was a brash young lad, full of himself and his abilities. Unlike now. Bah, I act as I do now because I am capable of it. 
I know what I can and cannot do now. I was more foolish then. I had placed too much importance on the acceptance of others, on their goodwill. I was a stupid, stupid youth. Everyone has things they regret doing. I am not some simple-minded half-orc to not realize these things. I can and will stand on my own. Ever since the simple-minded bigots of my home drove me out, fearing my strength and my sorcery, I have vowed that I will cow to no one, submit to no one. I am Xanos, and my will shall not be denied. You're kind of funny in a plotting to take over the world kind of way, you know. Bah! You are as heartless as always. I do not know why I let myself tell you these things, knowing you will only mock me in response. They cast me out and I wandered the wilderness for months, never knowing where my next meal would come from, or even if I would survive the night. Until at last I found my way here to Hilltop, and Master Drogon. He alone accepted me for what I am, and let me harness the powers I was wielding, powers I have now forged into the true might of Xanos. Well, let's see this true might then. <laughs> In time, in time, all shall feel the power of Xanos, and all will bow before me. But not right now. We have things to do, you understand, so let us be doing them. What do you Alright. Uh, why such a craving for power, Xanos? It seems like we can ask all the questions. Why question the wind, the rain, or the ground underneath your feet? It is the fundamentals, my friend. It is the desire that drives me. Is there nothing else in your life? My life? What is my life? It is nothing without a purpose. To exist. To sit around all day doing nothing. Being nice. Serving others. That is nowhere for one such as Xanos to live. No, for me the only place to be is the top. A place above reproach where none can stand beside me. Budding tyrant. Ha! Those with the will to gain power shall see it come in their lifetime. Such destiny is mine, of course. But you think me to become an evil dictator? A tyrant? You compare me to the Theans, perhaps? No, this is not the way of Xanos. Xanos is no monster. Xanos is smarter than that. Smarter? What do you mean? This thing thing which drives me. It is power. But power is fleeting, as we have already seen in our journey. Xanos will not stand by, as what I worked all my life to achieve is stripped from me. Not again! Again? I will not have my life taken from me by ignorance. Not in me, or, nor in my subjects. History, my friend, teaches us many things. It teaches us the lessons that others have learned at their expense. A good ruler, as I shall be, learns from the mistakes of those who have failed. But what mistakes have they made? What have I learned? Ha! Xanos will not be so easily drawn into your little trap. I will not sell my knowledge so cheaply as that. Let us journey on further, and then perhaps I will let you have a better glimpse at the genius of Xanos. What do you want? Okay. Uh, seems like there's no more we can ask there, but where is your ring? The one Drogon gave us. Ha! When your own ring runs low on focused crystals, you ask me for mine? Do not worry, little human. Xanos keeps his say. I wasn't trying to take it from you. Xanos knows of your intentions. The ring and the crystals that power it are kept close and safe. For Xanos alone! Did Drogon not show you how folks' crystals are made? Remember the little machine in the lab inside his bedroom? If it is more crystals you are sniffing about for, look for them there instead. Uh, how is it, everything? I am as well as may be expected, given our current situation. I want to discuss your training. Uh, we can... Okay. He's actually currently going as Barbarian and Sorcerer. He is both, which is interesting. Not something I'm going to go for. Uh, keep going as you are. 
but that's it for now. Dorna, though. If you're here to help Master Drogon, you'll need to get underway as soon as possible. Do you need my help? Well, bringing an extra pair of hands would be a good idea. Well, you'll know me. If you'll need sharp eyes to watch for ambushes or a nasty trap dealt with time your girl, what do you say? I think that would be a good idea. Great. We'll have Master Drogon's artifacts back in no time. We'll maybe pick up a coin or two for ourselves along the way. Let's go. Sadly, we what? can only have one henchman at the time. So, Xanos, we need to part ways. What? You will turn Xanos aside and make your way without him? So, yeah, wait here until, re until I return. Very well. I shall remain here. We shall join again when you return. Indeed. You're back, I see. Do you need me to travel with you again? Yes, Torna, please come with me. I'm right behind you. We'll have this wrapped up in no time. Relatively speaking, I mean, there's a lot to do. Indeed. Let us rest, and Dorna, you are a rogue. Which is obviously very helpful, because we could very much use the lock-picking abilities you have. Where is it? Open lock, yeah. And as for what you happen to have in your inventory... Well, we will take your footlocker key, if you don't mind. You also have... let's see... Couple things, jeez. You've got a hand axe. You've got a battle axe, which is actually specifically Dorna's battle axe, a short bow, and Dorna's short sword. Let me see here. Oh, she's ambidextrous and can dual wield. Oh, that is interesting. Let me see here. So if we do this, ooh, plus two bonus, and then we throw this in, that's a fair penalty. Not too keen on that. Quite a penalty, in fact. Ooh, I think we'll just keep you with the battle axe for now. We'll use the short sword if ever you level up and get something better. I mean, really, it is pretty good. I mean, Ambidex normally if you use two weapons you end up with large penalties to what you to your uh, attack abilities. Ambidexterity means you don't get the extra penalty with the offhand weapon and dual wield means you get Oh. Ambidexterity and two weapon when fighting wearing heavy when wearing light armor. And I think she's wearing light armor, isn't she? Dorna's armor. Yeah, it's light armor. So she gets ambidexterity and dual wielding, no matter what. Which is pretty good. But I think we'll keep what we have right now. Anyway, Dorna, let us speak. Actually, first I want to pick up what's in here. Bolts? Sure. We don't really have many things, so... There we go. No. Dorna, let us speak. Yes? What do you need? Uh, let's stop and talk for a moment. If that's what you want. I suppose we were too busy with our training to get to know each other at Master Drogon's. Tell me about yourself. What led you to Drogon? Oh, that's nothing special. I had heard his reputation for training and he was accepting students. You don't leave your clan without preparation, you know. Bored with the traditional life, hmm? I would have preferred to stay, but there were things I just couldn't support anymore. It's not something you'll be able to understand. I haven't really said I don't want to be a part of the clan. There are just a few things that have to get resolved before I go back. So you simply le uh, so you simply left? I wouldn't call it simple, no, but it had to be done. I didn't fit in with the way things were. It might seem a strong reaction. You'll notice that my chosen surname of Trapspringer isn't a traditional dwarven name. It was just something I had to do. What happened that made you feel this way? That's my own business. I'm sorry, but I don't know if I'm ready to talk about it. Besides, we got important things to do. Talk to me some other time. Maybe I'll feel more like it then. Yes? Well, what about now? You said you gave up your name. Why? I didn't give it up. I've just chosen not to use it for now. It was a very personal decision. I'm not sure I could make you understand. You'll see, dwarven surnames are granted by the clan elders. You must honor it or be stripped of it and exiled. I couldn't abide by some of the decisions of the elders, so I've chosen not to associate with them. It was...
was not an easy thing to do. What happened to cause you to do this? I'd have to tell you a bit about myself to really explain. I don't think I want to go into everything all at once. It's not a good time in my life. See, I follow Virgadain, the short father, god of wealth and luck. It wasn't that long ago that females weren't allowed to be clerics in his service. 1358, the Arx or re reordering of the gods in Virgadain began accepting us. Clan elders didn't like it, but they certainly couldn't say a god was wrong. Most of the elders came to accept it all the time, though. Though there are those that shunned me from time to time. Nothing official, but it was evident. I understand your anger at not being accepted. Oh, I really couldn't care less about being accepted by those old rock pushers. No, there were other things that bothered me. See, my family suffered for my forward th thinking. I had a sister and she had some trouble because of me. She didn't fare as well as I did. She was younger, you see, and she... Well, maybe I should take a while to dig up what I really need to say. Well, if that is what you want. It is. Thank you for your patience, Liam. Yes. How about now? You were about to tell me about your sister. Was I? I suppose I was. It might be good to talk about it. It was kind of my fault what happened. Kind of. I was the upstart that made the clan elders all huffy, and she wanted to be like me. She thought all it took was going against what they said. She never wanted to cause any harm. It all just got blown out of proportion. What was her name? Her name? I'll get to that. I have to say a few other things first to make it clear what happened. It was such a little thing. I followed the spiritual path. Trickery too, but spiritual. She was all blades in glory. She wanted to follow our father into the elite guard. There was no obvious sign that this should be tolerated, not like in my case, so the elders forbade it. She saw training anyway. When it was discovered that she had defied what was best for her, she was banished for a time to learn what she had lost. I assume there was more to it than that. Much more. She made a life as an adventurer, but... Well, there were some unforeseen consequences. Suffice to say that all did not go well, and in the end I decided I felt better away from certain influences. I hope you understand. Well, if that's all you want to say, that's your choice. Uh, I just need some time to figure it all out. I've been avoiding the subject for quite a while now. Just give me a little time. We'll talk again, I'm sure. Yes? How about right now? Oh, no. Okay. Oh, uh, where's your ring, the one Drogon gave us? I have my ring on me, if that's what you're wondering. Master Drogon said we weren't required to wear it constantly in order for its power to work, you know. Why do you ask? Well, there's no need to be suspicious of me. I'll keep both the ring and my stash of focus crystals in a very safe spot. It's not that I don't trust you, Liam, but I'd really rather not discuss this any further. No offense. Drogon showed you how to make more crystals in the lab inside his bedroom, didn't he? If you're short on focus crystals to power your ring, maybe we should consider going there. Alright, um, one more question. What is your training? She can learn to be a cleric. Interesting. Yes, there's nothing like real experience on the road. Uh, I'm currently progressing as both a cleric of Virgadane and a, as well as a rogue, in equal measure more or less. I kind of want you to concentrate on rogue training. Very well. I'm sure my skills will come in handy once I have had some practice time. Alright, that's all. Thank you. I think being a rogue will be good. Now then... We have a few places we can look around. We still have some time, so let's do just that. There's nothing in that room. I'm not sure we close the door. Why not? That's the dining room. Is there anything in the kitchen? Ah, oh, there is... There are some things in the kitchen. But is any of this useful? Fish, fish, and garlic. I don't think that's useful. Meat, also probably not useful. Remains? Uh, cobalt appears to have died in here. Interesting. Belladonna, empty bottle, meat, meat. Nothing in there. Alright. Trogan's lab is downstairs. If he kept the artifacts anywhere, it would have been there. It's well guarded, however. I've never been able to sneak into it, so I wonder how they could have. Oh my. Hee <laughs> hee! You do not know how to get past the ward. Reese does. Oh my, what's this? Is it another cobalt come to wreak havoc on Master's things? Well, Reese will fight them. Yes, she will! She will protect the Master's things this time. 
No, no, no. It is someone I recognize. That is my heart it does. Yes, it does. Hello there, Liam. Hello there, Reese. How are you? I am still being Reese. Oh, yes. I am not dead. That is a good thing. But you should be knowing the Cobalt Stone Master stuff. Yes, they did. But Liam, you cannot help, for they are gone. And that is sad. But Reese feels something is wrong with the Master. Tell me what happened to him, please, oh, please. Master Drogon was poisoned by the Cobalts. Oh no, no, poor, poor Master! Poor, poor Reese! If Master dies, then Reese will be all alone! Reese should go up to Master, yes, she should! And Master wanted Reese to stay down in this laboratory. Oh yes, that is what he said. And Reese must obey, kind Master. Oh, Liam, Reese feels terrible right now. Maybe if we talk a bit, you will make me feel better? Yes, yes, I love to talk. You want to hear a riddle? Let me get some water first. Okay, uh, sure. Tell me your riddle. Yes, yes, my riddle! A fine choice for a fine man. Here is my riddle. A woman has five children and half of them are sons. Is this possible? Yes. Oh, yes, yes, it is true. Reese you thinks you are smarter than you look, or else very lucky. Well, if half of them are sons, the other half can also be sons. Hey, hey! It is true that the other half of the children are also males. She must have five boys. It is a trick, see? I never said the other half were not boys. I saw what you were doing. You want to talk about something else? I want to ask you some questions. And try not to answer in riddles, little pest. Your mind is like a young puppy chasing its tail in circles with no idea what it would do if it caught a up and took a bite. Reese hears a voice, but she does not see where it is coming from. Could it be a ghost? Oh, wait! Way down there! There's a voice from a bump in the ground! Reese did not know that small lumps of dirt could speak. No, she did not. Alright, that's enough out of both of you. Oh, Liam. Dorna and Reese talk like this to each other all the time. It is only playful banter, nothing more. Questions are not as good as riddles, unless the questions are riddles. But you ask, and I will try to answer. Can you tell me exactly what the kobolds did? Oh, it was terrible. Yes, it was. I was just having a nap and dreaming about a lovely meadow filled with flowers and butterflies. It was wonderful, Liam. Yes, it was. Do you have dreams like that? Uh, yes, but please, get to what happened. Uh, actually, do your dreams have naked nymphs and dryads, too? You're a very strange man, Liam. Yes, you are. Well, I was woken by a dreadful noise, and I immediately turned invisible. When I saw that dreadful kobolds were in the house, I thought Master Trogan would come here right away. I saw them coming to the laboratory, and I knew they could not get across, and I thought it was going to be such fun watching them from behind the magic circle. I was about to appear to them and taunt them. Yes, I was. But then they stopped, and you would not believe what they did. No, you would not. They threw dust on the circle. What did that do? It must have been magic dust. Oh, yes, or it would not have worked. No, no, no. Stupid ugly kobolds walked right over the symbol and looted all of Master's things. Well, maybe not all of his stuff. No, no. There'd be some stuff left. Little bits of stuff the stupid kobolds not think would be important or no could find. What did you do when the kobolds crossed the barrier? Oh, shame on Reese! Shame, shame, shame! I hid! I was so scared and thought they were powerful kobolds, for they were the first to pass Master's magic. Excuse me? Now Master will never trust Reese again! Oh no, he will not! Now Master will dismiss Reese, and she will have to leave and never return to her and return to her home in disgrace! Except that Master is very loving. And maybe Reese can earn back his trust by never letting anyone in ever again. Yes, 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 that is it! Reese will be the best guard ever! How do I get into the laboratory? Oh, Reese no can tell you that. No, no, no! Master never did tell us anybody that, except for Reese. No, Master is upset. Oh, yes, he is. Reese can feel it. Yes, yes, yes. Master trusted Reese to protect his treasures, and now Reese has failed. Never will Reese fail Master again. You no ask to get in anymore. No, no, no. Surely you can trust me to go in. No. What are you, stupid that cold? Me said no, and me mean no. But wait. Reese knows what is going on. Yes, she does. And you will not be tricking your nasty little kobold. What are you talking about? You must be cobalt in disguise, that is what I mean! You will not be getting past me, nor will I bring the treasure to you! This maybe if Reese could test you, then maybe she could bring you Master's items! Yes, yes, yes! Maybe Reese could ask you riddles, that would be good! Yes, it would! Alright, ask me your riddles. You answered one riddle correctly, yes you did, so Reese will give you just two more riddles to answer. 
because she is kind and caring, yes she is. A prisoner is going to be killed and is told by executioner that him must make one statement. If his statement be true, then him will be drowned. If his statement is be false, he will be ha him will be hanged. What statement can be him make to confuse the executioner and not be killed at all? I will be hanged. Yes! Yes, yes, yes! That is the thing to say! Then the executioner cannot hang you or you're told the truth that he should drown you. If him drowns you, then you lied and should be hanged. You'll be pretty smart. Much smarter than Cobalt, I am thinking. Cobalt's turned out to be smarter than me thought when the Breakmaster's ward. This is hard riddle, sir. You should take your time to figure it out. Yes, you should. Are you ready? Yes. There be an island which is deserted. Yes, it is. This island has four fruit trees, each with a different kind of fruit. There be a group of wizards who visit the island each year, for they like it. Yes, they do. Each wizard eats two types of fruit, but each group of two trees can only have one wizard in common, which means only one wizard can eat from the apple tree and the bear tree. So what you must be telling me is, how many wizards belong in this group? Okay, let's see. Four fruit trees, each with a different kind. So let's see. One and two, one and three, one and four. Two and three, two and four, three and four. Six. There's gotta be six of them. That is very smart of you to know that. It took Reese a long time to figure that one out. I guess you must be who you seem to be, and I will have to trust you to help Master. I will go and fetch the items for you from my secret hiding place. Reese hopes you will really help Master, Liam. You take this and help Master. I worry about him much. Oh, yes, I do. Good luck be with you, Liam. You will need it. What a mess. What a mess. Me, oh my. What a mess. Ooh. We got a room key. Which is probably helpful. A scare scroll, which I guess we don't need. And three focus crystals. All very good to have. Thank you very much, Reesey. Okay, we're definitely not coming in. It is a mess in there. Okay, let's head upstairs. I may make this episode go a little longer as I do some exploration of the place. Oh, divining pool. <laughs> Good that they have this here, too. And these are the apprentices' quarters. Here we have an extra room with a mysterious footlocker. Rags top. Okay, a couple scrolls that we can sell. What's this? 101 Tales of Adventure. This is a storybook that recounts the adventures of many of Faerun's best-known heroes. Jam, stains, and scribbles render some of the stories almost illegible, and many of the woodcut illustrations have been enhanced with strategically placed mustaches. I like some kids stayed in here. Let's see. Xanos' room. Oh, goody. Influential sorcerers through the ages. Okay. Ah, slowed. But we were able to get in, and we got two more scrolls, a potion of aid, and a wand of acid. Bard, sorcerer, and wizard. Well, I think Dorna can actually use this. Or have a chance of using it. Yes. I think. I think. Whatever. No, we'll just sell it. We don't need it. Okay. Dorna's room is right here. Here's her footlocker. Well, I have the key to my footlocker. If you can grab my stuff for me. Thieves' tool is in a sonic trap kit. We don't need the trap kit. I'm never using trap kits. But you can hold on to their thieves' tools. If need be. Okay, that's our footlocker. We've already cleared it out. This one's Misha's footlocker. With prayers to Mistra, this dog-eared and well-worn book contains several dozen prayers to Mistra, goddess of magic, who is often called simply the Lady by her devotees. And a couple potions of bless. Very useful. 
and a practice sword. The great sword is an impressive weapon by okay. It's just a great sword, but with less damage. And in here, we have a bunch of things. This must be Grogan's room. Grogan's private laboratory. I can't do that. Okay, we can't go in that one. What about these two? Okay, copper ring and a potion of cure light wounds. And in here, a couple coins. And this, I believe, is where we go in order to get, well, what we need. Ooh, weapon rack. Oh! Okay, we have basically everything we'd need here. Ooh, Tanglefoot bag. And we even have a long sword, which is exactly what I need. Ooh, and we can get a bunch of things, including a special helmet. I don't know what that helmet is. We need it. I will need to get it identified. Okay. Wear the helmet. Use a large shield. I think that works. Actually, hold on. Dorna, you have arrows, so that. Nope. And we'll give you bolts. That works. The rest of this... Actually, the longbow is something I'd very much like to hold on to. And the rest of this is actually all stuff that we can sell, I think. Mostly, anyway. I mean, the tanglefoot bag I can hold on to. is basically a grenade-like object that we can throw. I don't think any of this other stuff we really need. Well... Alright. And there's a couple other chests over here. Miscellaneous supply chest containing a whole bunch of stuff. Okay, I'm gonna hold on to these. And Alchemist's Fire is actually something that's useful. Another grenade-like device. And there's a medical supplies chest here. Containing potions of cure light wounds and a couple healer's kits. I rarely use them, but I'll hold on to some of it anyway. Okay. And then we have these. Drogon's crystal table. This alchemist's lab is where Master Drogon creates the focus crystals that power the rings he, oper he gives to his apprentices. He showed you once how to operate it. How do I create it? Each focus crystal requires one quartz crystal combined with any two of the following gems. Phenolope, Aventurine, Fleur Spar, or Amethyst. Ah. Phenolope and Aventurine. We have a couple of them. So those are actually going to be useful to us. Placing the proper three gems in the grinder should enable you to use the various potions and powders already in the lab to create a functioning focus crystal. Now let's create one. One of those, and those two. There we go! We have another focus crystal. I don't think the empty bottle will be needed, so I'm just going to drop it. That said, we now have a lot of materials and things, including many things that we can actually sell in order to, uh, well, get stuff. Which is nice. And, look at us, we are armored up, complete with a long sword, our weapon of choice. And a shield, as I always use. That said, I believe that now is time to end this episode. Next episode, we will move on outwards and finally explore. See if we can find where those terrible kobolds have run off to. That'll be in the next episode, so until then, I'm Chester44. 
that is Liam Johnson and Dorna Trapspringer. This has been a let's play of Shadows of Undrintide, and I shall see you all next time.